Machado with Matthew Gerald. And we are here for some baby digger basketball. We are Meat Solutions. Target was committed to feeding the world in a responsible way by reducing environmental impact and continuously improving products and processes. Learn about Cargill's story of commitment at www.cargill.com. So welcome back. Uh, we're getting ready for a tip-off here. And uh, just for a little more information on Resurrection Christian, they are eight and one, or I'm sorry, seven and one coming into tonight's game. As I said, they're uh, right. Uh, eighth in the three A poll this this week, and uh, their lone loss was came to um, or came by Falcon um, out of the uh, Colorado Springs area uh, at a tournament. And Falcon is a three and five team, and the uh, top player for for Resurrection Christian, Juju Haymeyer, was held in check in that game. So uh, we were just. Uh, you know, for the girls tonight, they need to try and keep Juju in, in check, and it's going to be fun saying her name, and I'm sure I'm going to say it a lot. So, um, when you get ready for the opening, or the starting lineups, um, the starting lineups are brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Proud to be Northeast Colorado's locally owned hometown savings and loan with locations of Fort Morgan, Sterling, and Brush. They are available 24-7 for your banking needs. So we are getting ready to uh, get started. We're going to find out their schedule here if it's, uh, they're going to do the anthem or starting lineup. So we'll just keep it here for just a minute. And um, we will uh, get ready for tip off. Resurrection Christian and Brush last year played for the third and fourth place uh, to go into the tournament. And uh, Resurrection did beat Brush uh, in a very tight tight game. And uh, we're looking for the same this year uh, in this one heading into the tournament. So uh, we are going to do the National Anthem. So we're going to take a short break here. You're listening to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. B&B Appliance. When you're shopping for new appliances, shop the best appliance store in Fort Morgan. B&B Appliance carries a full and complete line of Whirlpool appliances and will help you find your perfect fit. B&B Appliance in downtown Fort Morgan. As we're getting ready for the starting lineups to be announced, the diggers are starting with Amber Wolliver. 
who was also uh, one of the leading scorers right by Nobby Rule. Haley Unrein has been a consistent starter and, and uh, has been playing uh, very good from the point position. Allie Keller is back from missing the last game with the flu, so she's going to be starting as well, which will be a good good help for uh, for the Beat Diggers. And they're round out with uh, Sydney Odell and Kendall Elliott. And uh, they're very excited here at Resurrection Christian for their, uh, their starters. They're starting Molly Peacock. Juju Haymeyer, Kenzie Bishop, Kari Ostenhaus, and Elizabeth Pearl. Elizabeth Pearl is our leading rebounder and second leading scorer. Um, she's been very tough with uh, with the uh, past games and looking at the stats. She's been pretty consistent throughout the start of the year so far. So looking at the starting lineup uh, for Resurrection Christian, they're starting one senior, uh, three juniors, and a sophomore. Sophomore just happens to be their their uh, their top player. So we we'll get ready for the opening tip. The opening tip is brought to you by Buildings by Design. Buildings by Design has the experience to complete your project from start to finish. Get the quality you deserve in your building by starting your build, your build project right. Start with Buildings by Design. So, Resurrection Christian gets the opening tip. We're moving the ball around, brushes in man to man. Driving into the basket is Pearl, and she has uh, fouled on the dribble in the lane. Resurrection will keep the ball under their own basket. Foul is on Allie Keller. So, Resurrection moving the ball around top of the key. Of course, playing a very tight, very, very tough defense, in your face type of style, and uh, not giving any room here. They've got Amber Wolliver on Juju, and Juju goes in with a floater, misses that one. Haley Unrein the rebound, long pass ahead to Allie Keller. Keller dribbles it up top to the key, waits for everyone to come up. Brush got stalled out. Little pass into Kendall Elliott at the uh, free throw line. She makes that one. First pass of the game is brought to you by Western Eng Engineering Consultants, which provides civil engineering services for aviation, municipal, commercial, and residential clients located in Colorado. Western Engineering is invested and involved in the communities they work in. They want to wish good luck to all the athletes as they compete this year. So back to the action. Resurrection Christian is bringing the ball up half court, across half court. Juju gets poked away. Allie Keller comes up with it. Dribbles back down. Juju steals it back from Allie. Nice pass inside to Pearl. Pearl misses the layup. Allie Keller gets a rebound. Dribbling up, one hand pass to Sydney Odell up the right side. Sydney goes in for the layup. A little strong, hits the back of the rim and out. Rez, Rez comes up with the rebound, gets it out to Juju. Juju floater on the left side. Nice left handed shot. And uh, even the score up 2-2 two two with 6.15 to go here in the first. Allie Keller's got it on the wing. Back up top to Amber Wolliver. Wolliver over to Unrein. Unrein's taking a look from the wing. Rez is in the zone, leaving Ali Keller all alone in the corner. Her shot goes up, air bomb. Sydney Odo with the rebound and gets tied up with Pearl from Rez. And he brushes ball in the jump ball uh, under their own basket. Odo to pass it in. Nice pass to Wolliver. Wolliver pump fake. Pump fake again. Goes up and under for um, around Pearl for the easy basket. 4-2, brushing the lead. 5.45 to go here. Juju with the ball at half court. Cross half court. Free throw line kicks out. Shot goes up by Peacock. She gets her own rebound. Dribbles back in the lane. Goes up again and is fouled. And I think they're going to call this one on the floor. It's Kelly's second. 
And a foul again on Keller. That is two for her early in the ball game. Um, got to play some discipline basketball here. So res inbounds it. Got the ball up top. Dribbling around. Trying to penetrate. Gets it in Juju on the wing. Keller is playing very, very aggressive. With two fouls. To kick it out. To Bishop. Bishop with a three. Doesn't go. Keller with the rebound. Pushes the ball off the court. And drives in the key. Side of the lane. Puts up the shot. And they're going to get her. We're going to have the foul on the shot. So she'll be shooting two. And it's difficult to find out who the foul is on. They don't put that up on the board here. Matt, did you see who that was on? Bishop. Yeah, yeah foul on Bishop. So Keller misses the first. Resurrection with a massive sub. Um, had most of their... They've got four of their players coming out, leaving Juju on the court. He's the only starter still in the game. So Keller for a second. Shots up, and that one's good. With 5.06 to go here in the first. Brush five, Rez two. So Keller's pressuring the ball up top. And near steal by uh, Wolliver. So they changed up their man, who, who was guarding who. Took Keller off of uh, Juju, trying to keep her out of foul trouble. And uh, put Wolliver on her, kind of pressure. So the turnover there, uh, just brushes the ball, they're bringing up. Long pass ahead to Keller. Keller in the corner, into Wolliver, in the key. Wolliver out to Odo. Odo from the block, hits that one for another two. Brush got a nice little run going here. Long pass from Rez. Doesn't go anywhere. And ball is turned over by Anderson. Dribbling it off of her knee. And this pressure's been good. So Rez is going to a full court press here. Keller inbounds to Wolliver. Wolliver dribbling. Breaks the press on her own. And he gets fouled as well by Anderson. It'll be on the floor. Second team foul uh, for both teams. And brushes the ball on the sideline. Keller to inbound. Gets it to Odell up top. Odell to Unrein. Unrein back to Odell. Odell to get Elliott. Elliott's shot goes up. is blocked by Ellis. And Rez comes up with the ball. Juju is up top. Just kicks over the wing to Ellis, and she takes a long three, and Brush lets the ball go. Rez gets the rebound again, and is swinging around. Juju's got it on the wing. Nice turnaround, doesn't go. And Eisenhouse gets the rebound, goes up with it, and she's fouled on the shot by Elliott. That'll be her first, team third. 3.48 to go here in the first. B Diggers 7 and Cougars 2. First free throw is good for Ozenhaus. I'm getting ready to shoot the second here. We'll see if they pick up full court after the shot. And makes the second. And they pull out of that the, ha the full court, looking for the half court trap. Keller has it, brings it up top, and they're going to call Stoltz with the hand check. So both teams play playing very very good pressure defense here, and um, it's a fun it's a fun game to watch so far, just with the uh, pressure and the up tempo and actually keeping control of. Odo has the ball up top. Nice pass to Elliott. Elliott gets another one blocked from behind by Juju. Ball goes out of bounds. Brush will retain under their own basket. Keller to inbound. Gets it to Odo. 
Odo looks at it, dribbles up top into the key, wild shot, and Rez comes up with a rebound. Anderson bringing up the court, got a two on two. Kick it over Stoltz, found a lane, took it in, didn't get it, but Pearl gets the rebound and puts it back up. Seven to six, B Diggers in the lead by one here. 3.08 to go. Odo has a pass blocked. Pearl with the, with the steal. Takes a full court. Gets the layup. Giving Rez the uh, lead now with exactly three minutes to go. Parks is taking a timeout. We will too. You listen to 1010 KSAR and KSAR.com. This brush time out is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. When you're looking for someone to walk you through the insurance world, turn to the office of Greg Mullen and Brush. Home, auto, health, life. State Farm Insurance is here for you and your family. Give Greg Mullen a call today, 842-4555. So we've got Brush's ball. Uh, they beat the press and then had the ball tipped away. Brush has it in their own basket. Kendall Elliott's got it in the corner, up to Wolver, back to uh, Keller in the corner. She gets her shot blocked. And uh, Brush will keep it under their own basket again. So Keller to inbound again. And gets a nice pass to Elliot. Elliot has her shot partially blocked. And Pearl from Rez comes up with the rebound. Juju has it up top. Back to Pearl up the top of the key, and she travels with it. Um, they have Elliot guarding Pearl, who's, who's uh, probably their second best player. And uh, showed a lot of quickness there, but just uh, without the ball. So, brush the ball on the sideline, get, get it to Wolliver. She gets it over to Unrein. Unrein has it poked away, keeps it, gets control of it back. And uh, got it into Sydney Odell. She's trying to get a pass to Kenzie Craig, who had a kick. So, brush the ball into their own basket. Unrein to enter it. And uh, she throws it off of a res player, Gardner. Uh, she better to get the uh, five second call there. So, I'm going to try this again. Long pass to Brooklyn Cox. Top. She drives the lane, has a block, and they're calling the foul, giving her two shots. Uh, the res coach, uh, Jason Conrad, is not very happy about that one. Um, so, luckily, he's got some uh, sympathetic reps here. So, Brooklyn's first free throw is off to the left. And as I mentioned before, I haven't seen a free throw go as high as Brooklyn's. And she's off on her second one to the right. Pearl gets the rebound for Rez, gets it to Juju, who's bringing it up, crossing half court timeline. And she dribbles a full into the key, gets the bucket and the foul. And who was that one on? That was on Sydney. That's her first. Team fourth. Both teams uh, are with four fouls here to go here in the first. And Juju makes the free throw. It is brush seven, res 11, and I'm glad they called that foul. Pearl completely took out Sydney Odell. Uh, a long pass, both of them up in the air, and Sydney went down hard. So I should make it a. Uh, Brushes the ball on the sideline. Unrein's got it in the corner. Kicks it over to Krejci. Krejci up top to Odell. Odell with the three, and she is fouled on the three. So Odell uh, is looking for as many floor burns as she can get this trip down the court. They did not call it a did not call a foul on, or they did. I'm not sure what they did here, but it's brushed the ball underneath. So, Brush works it around the horn. Keller's back in the game. She's got it in the corner. Pass across court to Cox. Cox, layup, no good. Krejci with the rebound. She puts it back up. It doesn't go. Rez gets the rebound, and Anderson's got it. Pushes up the floor. Court, and Cox knocks that one out to kind of slow the momentum down here a little bit. Not really sure what's going on with the fouls here. Um, Odo was clearly fouled on the three, and that did not, didn't get a shot out of that. 
So, but they posted the foul up on the board. So Rez, Rez the ball. The shot goes up from three. Doesn't go. They get the rebound. And, oh, this is interesting. Um, so they got a couple of shots and rebounds on this. And it's kind of like third. looks like Ozenhaus is going to the line. Foul is on Keller. Allie Keller. And that is her third. So Ozenhaus at the line misses the first. And Keller's still in the court with three fouls with a minute 23 to go here in the first. Ozenhaus' second free throw doesn't go. And Matt's playing rough up here, and he got the call right. So he traveled on that possession. Versus inbounding. Full court press by Rez here. Gets it to Unrein. Unrein loses it. Wolliver gets the ball back on the steal. Unrein with the shot on baseline. Doesn't go long. Rez comes up with the rebound. Bush has got to get back in transition and stop this. Yeah, and they do get a trap. Anderson cuts through the lane, gets the easy basket there for Rez. And Brush on the inbounds, and hurries and rushes it and throws it out of bounds. So it'll be Rez's ball on the sideline right in front of the Brush bench. And they get it to Anderson. She brings dribbles it up top of the key. And dribbles so Russ has their subs in and uh, I think they called another foul did you see who that one was on 20 32 so that was on Krejci her first so Russ is getting some good ball movement here Shot goes up short, and they get their own rebound. And Stoltz has it up top. Ellis at the top of the key, and she travels with it. She brushes ball on the side. So Rez was giving their, their starters a breather and uh, bringing them back in now. To, for the last 25 seconds here in the first, Rez is up 13 to 7. And brushes the ball. Oliver's got it up top of the key. Dribbles to the left. Gets it to uh, Unrein. Unrein goes a real long with the shot. Juju gets the rebound. Crosses staff court. Nice pass underneath. Nobody around. And Anderson misses the shot. And I believe that's going to be Keller's fourth. And. They're going to sh- give her the bucket and shoot one. So Keller has got four here in the first quarter. And we are at the end of the first quarter with your score, Resurrection Christian 15, Brush 7. You're listening to 1010KSR and KSR.com. Ehrlich Toyota East, whether you're in the market to purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle, Ehrlich Toyota East and Fort Morgan will fit you into your car or truck of your choice, serving all of Northeast Colorado, Ehrlich Toyota East. Welcome back. Start of the second quarter. Resurrection Christian 15, brush 7. Resurrection Christian ball off possession. Juju Haymeyer has got it up, up top. Gets it into Anderson underneath. Anderson over to... I believe that was Austin House, and she gets fouled um, going up on that one. So she, she did make the bucket, so the bucket was good, and we're shooting one. And Austin House misses that one, but Peacock gets the rebound, puts it back up, and she is off on that. And Brush gets the rebound. Brooklyn Cox has that one go off of her knee. Peacock with a long three, doesn't go. Osnos with the rebound. Five four on the floor. Cox comes up with it, gets it out to Odo. Dribbling down the left side. She's trapped there in the top. 
uh, on the corner. Yeah, I believe that there's a foul being called here on Anderson from Resurrection, which would be the 17th foul. So that'll send an Odo to the line for a one and one. That's Anderson's third. And we're not quite sure. It's difficult to say uh, and see who the fouls are on. And Odo misses the first. Cox gets the rebound, fights for it, and gets it taken away. Resurrection brings it up with Stoltz. Stoltz goes baseline, misses that one long. Peacock gets the rebound. She puts it up and back in. 19 to 7, Resurrection Christian on top with seven minutes to go here in the second quarter. So Brush gets it in. Can't get past the full court press. And Tataloni, uh, who's now in the game, has the ball go off of her leg. And so, beat Resurrection's ball about half court. You can tell that they're missing uh, Maddie Rule and just her senior leadership and her presence on the court. So, hopefully, Brush can get someone to step up and take over that role. Haymeyer's got it in up top, kicks out to the corner. Peacock. Peacock doesn't get it to go. Stoltz has a rebound. And they get tied up. It'll be Brush's ball on the uh, jump ball here. We got Tataloni to throw it in. Gets it in to Cox. Cox pushing up the left side. Can get her running full speed. Should be great. Tataloni with a nice cut and an easy layup. Bring him back to a 10 point game. 19 9. Brush trailing in this one. Long shot by does, doesn't go, but Eisenhaus underneath for the rebound and put back for a 21 to 9 lead. Wolliver gets the ball up top and she travels with it, just trying to go too fast. So Brush has got to get control and, and maintain control. So, Rez's ball, Juju's got it up top, guarded by Wolliver. Juju takes it in, nice pass to Peacock. Peacock misses the layup. Amber Wolliver comes up with it. And we're going to have a foul here on this one. So, with Wolliver going the line for a one and one. And I guess the ref just said the number as she was walking by, never signaled. Uh, so we're not sure who has what fouls, but we know that there's 8-8 eight to eight on the team fouls. There's 5.49 to go here in the second. Brush trailing 21-9. to nine. We're over at the line. She went 1-1, one one, and her shot goes off the side of the rim. And Pearl gets the rebound. Gets it over to Haymeyer. That would be Juju, as I've been calling her. And Pearl with a nice cut. Doesn't go. Elliot gets a rebound, long pass to Odell. Odell all alone, gives a little pressure, and she misses it off the front of the rim. And it looks like there's going to be a foul here on Stoltz or Resurrection Christian coming over Cataloni. So, Cataloni will go to the line to shoot a one one Odell just got caught from behind and pressured and put that one up long. Tataloni's first is good. 21-10, brush trailing. 5.29 to go here in the second. Tataloni for a second. And that one's good. Two for two from the line is pretty good. 21-11, brush trailing by 10 still. Juju haymeyer has got it, bringing up the left side. Started by Cox. I don't know how that pass got through, but she gets it into Ozenhaus. And gets a gets a bucket right at it. So Rez followed back into their defense. Get it down to Cox. Cox gets it to Elliot. Elliot puts one up, falling off balance. And Rez gets the rebound. Pearl's got it in the corner for Rez. Pearl drives the lane and is fouled. 
Hey, we saw that one by Cataloni. I was backwards. I was looking for 12 instead of 21. I wasn't sure who that was on, but so Pro goes the line to shoot one and one. And that one hits the back of the rim. Elliot comes up with the rebound. And for, for some reason they're saying it was a shooting foul when she was standing on the floor with it in her hand. So they're going to give her another one. <laughs> Not sure they know what's going on. It's not NBA out here. So, Pearl gets her second free throw, and that one goes. So, Catalonia brings it up for Brush. Trying to throw it to Krejci in the corner. Doesn't get it to go. Krejci gets it, though, and gets it over Brooklyn Cox. Cox with the runner on the baseline. That one rims out. Haymeyer's bringing up the court. Goes ahead, Cataloni gets a steal and bringing it up herself and guarded by two res players. Get over to Brooklyn Cox for three, and that one doesn't hit anything. Pearl from Resurrection comes up with the, with the rebound there. Juju cross South Court coming back. Drives in the key, puts up a shot. That one doesn't go. Ozenhaus gets the rebound. And her pass back, kicking him back out, goes to Cataloni. Cataloni does and gets it over to Krejci. Krejci over to Cox. Cox with a baseline shot, and that one goes. 24-13, Brush trailing still. 3.45 to go here in the second. Goes bringing it up. Ellis, Ellis dribbles in lane, loses off her foot, gets it over to Pearl. She dribbles baseline, runs into Elliott. No call. Puts up a shot. That doesn't go. Rez gets the rebound. And Juju has it. Kicks it over to Ellis. Ellis to Pearl. Pearl driving on Krejci. Kicks it back out to Peacock for three. And that one goes 27-13. Brush trailing now with 3.10 to go here in the second. Elliot's got the ball up top. Gets it over to Krejci in the corner. Over to Wolver cross court. Elliott from the free throw line. That one off the back of the rim. And Pearl gets a rebound. And she is fouled on the arm by Wolliver. We'll go with Wolliver since I saw a two. So, very difficult game uh, for Brush right now, trying to get something to, to fall and to break the pressure from um, Rez's defense. So Pearl's at the line for Resurrection Christian and sh shooting a one on one, or two shots, made the first, shooting the second. And that one does not go. And Brush is getting now rebounded really bad. Um, and they get and they get another rebound here on this one. Brush knocked it out. So it'll be Resurrection Ball under their own basket. Coach Hollander's uh, pleading with their girls to uh, box out when a shot goes up. Because they, I don't know what the rebound difference is here, Matt. Resurrection Ball, reading. We got a steal here by Cataloni. Gets it to Cox. And Cox left hand layup doesn't go. Pearl gets the rebound. Gets it over to Stoll. She brings it up the court. Stoll dribbles. Hands off to Pearl in the corner. She dribbles up. Anderson Perez in the corner. Dribbling around. Pearl with the cut. Doesn't go. Another offensive rebound. Another offensive rebound. I think that possession they had three or four offensive rebounds. That's been the case for most of this game. So they gotta get, uh, they gotta get some, some uh, inside play here and just blocking out. So Pearl is at the line again, shooting two, makes the first. 
And she's been at the line quite a bit tonight. Getting ready to shoot her second. We've got 2.15 to go here in the second. She makes a second, giving Resurrection Christian a 30-13 to 13 lead. On that, we're going to take a short break. Go listen to 1010 KSAR and KSAR.com. Northeastern for, <coughs> excuse me, Northeastern for a college that will equip you to go anywhere. Look no further than Northeastern. For more information, go to www.njc.edu. Welcome back. We got 2:15 to go here in the second. Brush is trailing 30 to 13 here against Resurrection Christian. Uh, two minutes and 15 seconds to go before halftime. And Matt was just telling me an uh, interesting stat. Pearl from Resurrection Christian has 12 rebounds so far this half. And that is what is killing Brush right now. Brush gets it in. Now a timeout to Brooke and Cox. She goes full court for, for the easy bucket. 30 to 15, cutting the lead in half. So here we go. With Resurrection Christian up for a three. Krejci with the rebound on a good block out. She's bringing it up herself. Looking for someone to throw it to. Gets it to Wolver at the top of the key. She gets it to Cox on the wing. Cox dribbles it up top. Gets it to Wolver. Nobody covers her. She drives in the basket. Long shot doesn't go. Wolver goes up and is fouled here by Ellis. And so she'll go to the line for two. This isn't a typical game for Wolver either. Uh, usually, uh, she's she's uh, more involved with the offense and hasn't shot very much so far tonight. But gets the first free throw. She's been on Juju. What's that? She's been on Juju. Yeah, defensively. Yeah, Matt brought up a good point that she's been guarding Juju and. And uh, has done done a very good job of containing her. So if she's going to focus her, her efforts on defense, that is perfectly fine as well. Others just have to step up offensively. She misses the second. Rez comes up with the rebound. Stoltz brings it up. Kicks it over to Peacock on the wing. Back to Stoltz. Nobody's guarding underneath. Ozenhaus is there. And we're gotta, we've got a foul. We've actually got a foul here on Ozenhaus on a block out. And uh, she's doing what well, a Brush needs to do. I'm pushed her all the way across the lane. And they did get called for her. They did, did call her for her. So find out who's going to the line. Uh, that would be Brooklyn Cox. So be ready for some rain with this free throw. So she's going to shoot two. So just need to get a little spark going for Brush here and get a nice run before we end the half. First free throw is off the back of the rim. So, so far on her free throws, she's hit all three sides of the rim except for the front. Getting ready to shoot her second. And that one didn't hit anything. So, he res the ball into their own basket. So right now, Brush is 4 for 12 from the free throw line, uh, which kind of goes to their shooting woes from uh, Tuesday night against Liberty Common. Juju's got the ball up top. One minute to go. 30 to 16. Rez in the lead. Rez is moving the ball around. A shot by Peacock. And Cox gets the rebound. And we got another rebounding foul on Rez. So... Brush getting more physical underneath, which is what they have to do to stay in the game. So we'll see. Krejci is going to be going to the line, shooting two for Brush. But the whole rebounding disparity is uh, is, is the main the main issue and the reason why Brush is trailing right now. So Krejci shoots the first, and that one's good. 51.6 seconds to go. Res up top, 30 to 17. So Chris shoot the second. And that one's good, so she goes two for two. 30 to 18, 50 seconds to go. 
Juju brings the ball, picks it over to Peacock in the corner. She dribbles back out to Juju. She looks at three, takes one dribble in, hits the 18-footer. She's a, I'm very impressed with her as a player. So, pressure on the ball top, getting the trap in the corner. Krejci gets it over to, over to Cox. Cox with the layup, that doesn't go, it's partially blocked. You know, we got a fight for the rebound, and Wolliver is tied up and goes to a jump ball. Rez's his ball, 24 seconds to go for that. Juju, full court pass off the fingertips of the Rez player. He brushes the ball, 19 seconds to go. So, the Juju Haymarsh, only being a sophomore, she's playing extremely smart and well above her, uh, her age here. Tataloni's in, dribbles in, gets it kicked off by a Rez player. Wolver chases it to the backcourt, four seconds to go. And Maddie Sawyer has it blocked on the baseline. Ball goes out of bounds, 0.3 seconds to go here in the half. See if Brush can get a quick shot up. That's a touch and shoot, and Wolver puts it up almost, but doesn't go. So with your score at halftime, Brush 18, Resurrection Christian 32. You're listening to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Welcome back as we, as we get ready to start the uh, the second half of tonight's game with Resurrection Christian and the Brush Beat Diggers. Um, the score 32, or Resurrection Christian 32, Brush 18. Uh, the girls are having a difficult time here on the boards, as we mentioned earlier. Um, being out rebounded 30 to 15 is, is just is not going to win you any games and or keep you in any games. So with Brush being down 14 at this point, it's not an insurmountable lead, and uh, it's, it's something that can be made up. Um, Brush has done a good job of keeping. Uh, who's definitely going to be an all stayer this year, Juju Amire, uh in check. She is, uh, you know, we're seeing her before the game. She just looked like any other person in the gym. Um, but once she stepped on the court, you could tell that she owns it. And uh, I'm just very impressed by her. Central Auto Parts. You need your vehicle and farm equipment to be in top shape, so make sure you take care of them by purchasing the best quality parts at great prices at your local Napa store, Central Auto Parts in Fort Morgan. We're getting ready to inbound here to start the second half. He brushes the ball off the possession. The brush inbounds, gets the wall over up top. Rez comes out in a half court trap and gets the turnover right off the bat from Wolliver. So Rez brings it down, gets it to Juju up top. Juju's looking for a spot, takes the right side, and she is so smooth. Uh, shot goes in, giving Rez a 16 point lead here. Started in the, the second the second half. Wolver comes back with a nice move of her own up and under for a nice basket there. 34-20 here in the opening 30 seconds of the second half. So get Wolver going offensively is going to be a huge help. Juju just turns it over to Unrine. Unrine going full court, takes it. Layup doesn't go. And Pearl gets the rebound for Rez. Kicks it over to Juju. And Juju with a nice pass to Ozenhaas. Ozenhaas out to Peacock. Peacock for three. Doesn't go. Ozenhaas another rebound. And Brush has just got to step it up inside or else uh, there's, it's going to be a really long second half. So Juju's got the ball top. Got her by Wolliver. She takes the three. Contested by Odell. And they get another offensive rebound. Work the ball around, brushes a man, and Juju's got the ball up top. Kind of get reset in their offense. Kicks it to the wing, dribbles inside. Peacock with it, kicks it out to Juju. Juju from the three gets it back to Peacock on the baseline. Jumper is good. 36 20, 6 05 to go in the third. Brush gets it in to Keller who had to sit a lot of the first half with foul trouble. She got into early. 
Um, kicks it over to Odo. Odo gets the ball out of bounds, or gets the ball. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, puts up the shot. Rez going for the rebound. It goes off their leg. Brushes the ball underneath. Unrind the inbi- in- inbound. He throws it in. Goes off of Pearl's foot. So retry this one again. So on the inbound, she tried to lob it into Wolver, cutting down the basket. The ball is tipped. Turnover there. Juju brings it up. Dribbles in the lane. Had, had a pa- or a shot partially deflected. Doesn't go. Ozenhaus comes up with the rebound. And brush ties up and jump ball. So Rez is going to keep possession of it. Juju looking to throw it in. Gets up top to Bishop. Bishop to the corner of Juju. Juju double dribbled. Doesn't, doesn't call. Peacock in the corner for three. Doesn't go. Keller with the rebound. We're going to push the ball up. She's being pressured by Peacock on the wing. Odo's got the ball in the corner. Gets it back up top to Unrein. Unrein over to Keller. Keller for three from the wing. Hits front of the rim. Doesn't go. Struggle for the rebound off of uh, Kendall Elliott. And Rez gets the ball with full court. Brush is picking up full court here. Man. And Wolver is on Juju. Putting, putting really good pressure on her. Wants to get into half court. And Juju behind her back, pull up from the free throw line, doesn't go. Ball still alive. Pearl gets a rebound there. She takes a baseline, and the charge is going to be called on her. Sydney Odell takes the charge there. Nice job putting her body on the line. She did have that one stretch in the first half where she was tackled on a three, got undercut on another pass. Um... And uh, she has to floor again, so see the back of her arms are pretty red. So brush the ball, don't come to full court, get into Odell. Odell gets it to Keller with numbers. Keller backs out, gets it to Elliott, cutting the lane. That that doesn't go at the basket. Brush is shooting. Uh, is is their percentage is very low. And Unrein, trying to hustle back, ends up fouling Stoltz. So it'll be Rez's ball underneath. I believe that's the second on Unrein. So Rez gets the ball in. Stoltz up to Anderson up top. Anderson goes in. And Unrein uh, grabs her arm on the scoop layup. And there wasn't any chance of that one going in. So Anderson's going to go to the line for shoot two. And Unrein picks up two quick ones here. With 4.28 to go here in the third, Resurrection leads 36-20. to 20. Anderson shoot her first. That doesn't go. Or that, I'm sorry, that does go. It should not have the uh, lane violation on her for on the shot was not called it's tough when you know the rules Anderson with the second shot they do call that one so she did the same thing as she did on the first shot this time she gets called for it so Rez leading 37 to 20 428 to go here in the third Rez brings a uh, full court pressure getting into Keller Cox gets it drives in and the Puts up the shot, and it goes, plus the foul. So, Brooklyn Cox is going to go to the line to shoot one. And hits the back of the rim. Kenzie Craig gets the rebound. Gets about to Odell. Odell puts up a three short. Keller with the rebound. And she's double teamed. Nice pass. Uh, Craig to Pataloni for an easy bucket underneath. Bring a score 37 24. Good four point possession there by Brush. Four minutes to go. They brush down 13. He's got to keep chipping away at the lead. And that time the rebounding was 
was excellent there. Juju puts up a shot from about 25 feet. Long rebound. She gets it back. Goes over the corner to Stoltz. Stoltz, long shot. Catalonia the rebound. Pushes the ball off the court. She's got numbers. Doesn't doesn't get it. Keller wide open on the right side. And takes it in the lane. Throws up a sideways shot that goes. So Brush making a little run here that they need to do. So pressure in full court. Not all of them get back, but Anderson puts up a three for Rez. Brush and another girl, one of the Brush players, another girl go after it. Goes off a Rez player. Brush the ball. Catalonia brings it up. Gets it over to Keller at the top of the key. Keller throws it to Craig. Baseline. Odell gets it. Her shot doesn't go. And Cataloni is in there for the rebound. And let's see, Cataloni gets the rebound. They call a jump ball on it. And just signal a technical foul on one of the resurrection players. Uh, number one, that would be Aspen Ellis. Gets called for the technical. So Catalonia is going to go to the line. And makes the first free throw. Is she three for three so far? What? Is she three for three? Yeah. So she's having a good night from the line. And she's stepping up big in this one. Catalonia shoots the second. And that one goes off. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Matt, you got to tell me that next time. Just keep quiet. I heard you. So, <laughs> so that was the technical shots. And so brush the ball at half court. Cataloni to inbound it to Keller. And they're trying, they're trying to get a half court trap on. Keller's got the ball in the corner. And... And good time out there by Coach Hollander. Uh, they got tied up in the corner. And uh, before anything happened, Hollander calls the timeout. We'll keep it here. We've got 2.52 to go with Resurrection Christian, 37, Brush 27. Got it down to a two-point game, or a ten-point game. And the pace of the game's picked up, and, and Brush has, has come out going, going full bore. And hitting the re, you know, hitting the boards, doing what they weren't doing the first half to get them in the hole. So <laughs> took a short time out there, just 30 second one, and be brushed the ball on the sideline, free throw line extended, and making sure players are tucked in. Tatalone to inbound, gets it into Keller. Keller top of the key, right side. Dribbles around, guarded by Juju. Gets it to Krejci in the corner. Nice cut by Cataloni. She gets a block. Gets passed to Odell. Odell to Cox. Cox loses the handle. And fight for the ball. And I think they're going to call Cox on the foul there. Yep, they called Cox on the foul after she had lost that one. The brush playing full court pressure. 2.35 to go here in the third quarter. And Juju Haymeyer bringing the ball up for resurrection. Across half court. Really good handles on her. She's dribbling on top of the key. Not being guarded too closely. Odell's on her now. She loses the handle. Goes off Odell. And <laughs> Odell goes over the top of her. And uh, no foul. The shot goes up by Anderson. Ozenhaus is there. Gets the rebound. Goes up for the putback and is fouled. I think that one was on Tataloni. And so Ozenhaus goes to the line to shoot two. And I didn't notice this before, but Ozenhaus hits the first. I guess the cheerleaders just decided to show up here halfway through the third quarter of the game. So... It's amazing things you just happen to notice. So Ozanah shoots a second. And they call a lane violation on her as well. 
So you can't, as a shooter, can't cross the free throw line until the ball hits the rim. It's happened twice here to him. So Keller gets the ball, brings it up court quickly, backs it out, drives the lane, goes in contact, doesn't get called, and Brooklyn Cox is going to get called for a, a foul here. Um, 157 to go here in the third. Resurrection 38, brush 27. The hustle foul there by, by Cox trying to get the, uh, the steal. And as fast as she is, it looks a lot more violent on the collision. But so Resurrection brings it down, gets it to Anderson up top. She drives the middle of the key. Border goes for her 40 27, 13 point lead. And Brush brings it in, gets tied up. Catalonia gets tied up in the back court. Uh, the trap is, is causing some problems. Keller's going to leave. Roll over back in for her. So they'll probably change up their, their defensive uh, matchups on the other end. rollover has got the ball half court. Dribbles in to the free throw line. Kicks it over to Cox. And Cox drives in. And they're going to get Stoltz with a hand check. And so he brushes the ball into their own basket. Five team fouls for Brush, four for Rez. And Rez is bringing Pearl back into the game. Brushes the ball underneath. Odo to inbound. And gets it in to Tataloni, who has the ball blocked. And goes off a wall over his foot. So it'll be Rez's ball. Brush picking up full court again. And they're going to keep Odo on Juju. And she backs off pressure until they get to half court. Picks it up again. Juju over to Pearl in the corner. A couple dribbles baseline out to Bishop. Over to Anderson. Juju for three. Wide open and goes long. Krejci gets the rebound, bringing it up the court. She's got numbers. Cataloni has it go off of her hands and out of bounds when she's going to save it. So... It was a good thought, just didn't didn't turn out right. So we've got a sub coming in the game now. We got a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here. 56 seconds to go. Resurrection and lead by 13. Uh, 56 in the third. Um, this third quarter has been a lot more productive for Brush, and the pace of the game has really picked up. But the biggest, the biggest thing they've done has been uh, on the boards. So just look forward to uh, them being able to keep this up with a limited bench. Um, they aren't playing too many players here. So we'll have them keep that up. Colorado Plains Medical Center, CPMC, has experienced physicians and highly trained surgical team trained in the latest surgical procedures. Explore what procedures are possible in your hometown. So coming out of timeout, be Rez's ball going the length of the court. So Bishop to inbound, Brush playing tight man to man. Anderson's got the ball guarded by Odo. She gets around Odo, kicks it over to Peacock. Peacock to Bishop, and she travels with it. So uh, they're giving Rez is giving some of their players a rest here with Pearl and Haymeyer both on the bench. Brush inbounds Cataloni. Cataloni is driving up right side and tries to get a pass across the lane and goes out of a uh, on a Rez player's foot. So Odo to inbound under their own basket. Looking to get it somewhere. Gets it into Krage. Krage from, from the baseline. Gets a nice shot there. 40-29, 11 point lead, 33 seconds to go. Red bring it down, trying to get some fan fancy passes inside here. Ozenhaus goes up with it, and they're going to call a jump ball, which is a correct call on this one instead of a uh, foul on the block. So Rez is going to keep possession of a 25 seconds to go off of the jump ball position. They get it into Bishop. She drives the left side of the line, the lane. Puts it up, gets her own rebound, gets it out to Anderson. Peacock for three. That's the front of the rim. And we got players flying all over. Goes off of Brooklyn Cox going up for that rebound. 
So with 13 seconds, Rez is going to keep the ball under their own basket again. So Rez goes to inbound, gets it into Peacock. Peacock up to Bishop, top of the key, dribbles the free throw line, out to Pearl. Pearl, shot goes long, good box out by Wolliver. Gets the rebound, two seconds, gets it to Craig. And Craig passes it during the, uh, the end of the time. So at the end of the third, we got a score Brush 29, Resurrection Christian 40. You're listening to 1010 KSAR and KSAR.com. AC Ice, when you need ice, don't settle for just any old frozen water. Get AC Ice. You can find it at any local grocery or convenience store near you. So as we start the fourth, Brush the ball. Brush gets it in. Odo puts up a shot from the wing. Doesn't go. Cataloni is showing so much hustle the second half here. Gets the rebound, falling out of bounds, throws it off a res player to keep possession of it. So Cataloni is going to inbound for Brush under the own basket. Gets it to Wolver inside. Easy bucket. Bring it to a nine point game, 40 to 31. Res in the lead still. And third quarter, Brush has scored them 11 to 8. So Juju goes in, drives the lane, left side. And driving the left side of the lane, goes up for the shot, gets fouled on the shot. She's going to shoot two, fouled by Brooklyn Cox. And that's her third. So Juju shoots the first, makes that one. Bring him back to 10. So Brush has got to come up big, a lot of hustle. Cataloni has been the player of this uh, second half so far and all over the court here. T- talking to Coach Hollander before the game, we need it. she said we need somebody to, stand, to step up with Matty Rule being out and Cataloni is taking on that charge right now. Juju makes the second and Brush brings it down, gets it to Odo. Baseline shot doesn't go. Osnaz gets the rebound for Rez, gets it over to Anderson, bringing it up. Top of the key. Oh, illegal screen there. Cataloni just knocks Anderson on the ground, too, so offsetting penalties there. So Juju goes from another 25 footer, and it is good for three. So she's just the type of player that has that ability that she can open up whenever she feels like it. And so Brush brings it down, Craig for three, and that one's good from the top of the key. Kenzie Craig for three. 45, 34, 6.40 to go here in the fourth. Rez's ball, and they call it a carry here on Anderson, so Brush can get the ball back. So, great answer by Kenzie Craig of uh, Juju's three. So, Brush's ball. Keller comes in for Odal to give her a breather. She played the whole third quarter, and <laughs> this pace, you need to get a break. Keller bringing it up. Gets caught in the trap. Gets it taken away by Bishop. Bishop over to Stoltz. Stoltz misses the layup. Gets her own rebound. Bishop right behind her. Gets the rebound. Now Keller comes out with it. Pushing the ball up to the right side. Behind her back. Trying to get out of the trap. You got to pass out of the trap. She gets stolen again by Stoltz. Stoltz gets the rebound there. We're doing this. This trap. You got to. You have to pass out of it. You can't dribble. Pass came into Brooklyn Cox. The trap was coming and she traveled on that one, so turning back over to Rez. 605 to go. 4735. Oh, I'm sorry, 4734 in the fourth. Brush just calls the 32nd timeout. And this brush timeout is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. When you're looking for someone to walk you through the insurance world, turn to the office of Greg Mullen and Brush. Home Auto Life Health. State, State Farm Insurance is here for you and your family. Give Greg Mullen a call today. 842-4555. So, Rez is bringing up their pressure, is, is increasing their pressure. And the one thing you can't do when, you know, against a trapping defense is, is dribble through it. Unless, you know, you can catch them before they get that trap set. You, know, you need to pass through uh, through any of this pressure, and right now Brush is trying to dribble through it. So it'll be Rez's ball on the side. Bishop to inbound, gets it to Juju. Juju at the wing, gets it up top to Anderson. 
she dribbles over. Good pick by Ozenhaus. Get over to Bishop. Bishop for three, and that doesn't hit anything. So he brushes the ball underneath. 5.52 to go here in the fourth. 13 point, point lead by Resurrection. <coughs> Resurrection stays in the full court press. Cox and Mouse Tataloni. Tataloni has to go off of her foot. And they call her for traveling as she rolled over. So it's a good hustle, but you gotta you can't grab the ball and turn and, and dribble. You gotta turn and turn and go with it. Resurrection of the ball in their own in their own side of the court. Juju's got it up top. In the offense set. The screen there. She dribbles down the left side, throws a pass into Stoltz, blocked out by Wolliver. He res his ball into their own basket. Juju to inbound. Gets it to Stoltz in the corner. Guarded by Wolliver. Loses the ball on the floor. Bishop gets it over to Anderson. Anderson dribbles in. Swooping right hand. Doesn't go, but she was fouled. And did you see who that foul was on? Cox. And that foul was on Cox, apparent, uh, uh, possibly. She's in the game. Huh? She's in the game. She she is in the game. So right now we sit with uh, Anderson misses her first. We're sitting uh, with Brush of seventeen fouls, Rez at four. So Rez will be shooting uh, from here on out on any foul. Five twenty six to go here in the fourth. And missed the first, hit the second, 48-34. And we got a quick foul on Anderson for Rez in the backcourt on this trap. So Grace gets it in Tataloni. They keep bringing her to the uh, corner. Gets to Wolver center court. Wolver dribbles, picks up top of the key. Tataloni drives in left side. Left hand layup is good. 48-36. Brush has got to make a run here. Five minutes to go in the, in the game. Long pass down to Pearl. Pearl's layup goes off. Crazy rebound. Gets out to Cox. Pushing ahead. Cataloni goes off of her leg. We're going to have a jump ball here. Going to be Rez's ball. So, good hustle. He just pass has got to be a little bit more accurate. And... and uh, you can't start thinking before you have the ball. So, Rez will bring the ball full court. Brushes in, full, in, in a full court press. Matched up. Brooklyn Cox, and they're going to call her for the foul. We got Matt playing rough up here. And, uh, <laughs> Matt, I don't think you can boo from where you're at. But. <laughs> so. We got a foul on Brooklyn Cox, and that's her fifth. So, 451. Brooklyn Cox is done for the night. Allie Keller's coming in for her. Rez with a 12 point lead. We'll be shooting one and one here by Stoltz. And first shot goes long. Tataloni with the long rebound. Pushes up the court. Nice pass into Odal. Little dribbles out, gets to Keller at the baseline. She gets out to Krejci. Wolver, pump fake, back to Krejci up top. Cataloni, ball goes off of her. Russell for it. Stoltz from Rez comes up with it. Pushes up the court. High pass. And uh, Matt was right on that one too. They got a traveling call. I really think Matt's calling is to put the pinstripes on and... <laughs> and uh, go after it that way. So Brush brings it up. Long pass over to Odo in the, in the corner. That was the two that goes. Bring it back to a 10-point game. 4.15 to go here in the, in the game. And Brush settles back in their, their half-court defense. And Juju's got the ball top. Goes for three. That one didn't hit anything. And it'll be Brush's ball full court. And Rez is staying in their full court 
full court press here. Got multiple subs coming in for both teams. So we got Unrine back in the game, uh, relieving Tataloni, uh, who has just played her butt off the, the second half. So four minutes exactly to go. Ten-point game, brush trailing. Haley Unrine gets it, pushes it off the court, kicks it out to Odell. Odell travels with it. She went up, and that window closed, and and she uh, she uh, came down with that one. Matt, you're such a homer. <laughs> so Rez brings it up Juju with the ball, big screen, bunch of big screens. She dribbles down the baseline. Shot doesn't go. Oliver with the rebound gets hammered, no call. Juju gets the ball and scores. Lay up there. Needless to say, the officiating is questionable. So, brush bring down. Keller gets up top to Unrein. Unrein, nice pass to Krejci inside. Krejci back up top to Keller for three. That one doesn't go. On the iron, Juju with the rebound. Backs it up. Being pressured heavily, leaving one girl open, and Brush recovers. Stoltz dribbles in the lane. That one doesn't go, but they're going to get. Her shot doesn't go. They call a foul on that one. That'll be on Allie Keller. So apparently that is four. They're not signaling that's her fifth yet. So four fouls on Keller. Nine team fouls. 254 to go here in the game. Stoltz at the line. That's the first. Making a score 51. Rez 38 for Brush. Brush isn't out of this by any by any means, but you just have to uh, get back defensively and not let them get any offensive rebounds. Keller fights for this rebound, gets tied up. And it'll be Brush's ball. Just 13 point game. Brush bring it in. Unrein brings it up the court, dribbles through the lane, kicks it out to Wolliver on the wing, gets it over to Odell. Odell traveled a little bit, but took a baseline shot, went long, and they called a foul. So Odell's going to go line for two. This is a killer if you have the lead for the other team to score while while the clock has stopped. So, there's a fifth foul on uh, Stoltz. So, Stoltz is fouled out. And they're going to bring Pearl back into the game. And that was the delay. So, now Sydney to shoot two. First one hits all parts of the rim but does not go down. So Sanina shoot her second. And that one goes out. Perez with the rebound. Juju's got it. Guarded by Odell. Big screen there. Bolivar is now on Juju. Rez working the ball around, gets out to Pearl, Juju up top, kicks over to Ellis in the corner, pump fake goes, and the shot doesn't go. She gets her own rebound and gets fouled on the shot. So, so Brush has got to get a little bit tougher on the boards again like they were early in the third. And Brush subbing. Uh, some back in, and then Haley and Allie arrest. That, that was oh, that was Unrein's fifth. So Unrein is done for the night. So the first shot by Ellis does not go. So I need the scrappiness Tataloni to uh, to help him get back into the second in, into this game. Second one long. And how she gets her own rebound, I don't know. 
and Juju from the wing for three. And we've got a full timeout called by Resurrection Christian. For the score, Resurrection Christian 54, Brush 38. You're listening to 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Morgan Community College, find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. Visit MCC online at www.morgancc.edu or stop by the campus for a personal advising session. MCC, here to help you imagine, believe, and achieve your goals. So back to the action here. We had a little rally go. Uh, missed shot by Brush and missed shot by Resurrection Christian with the rebound going out off of a brush player. So, <laughs> Rez with the ball, keeping the ball, pulling the ball out high to the half court line. I'm trying to kill some clock here. Got the ball with Juju, dribbling around, and just doing a wave between her and Anderson. And called a foul, looks like on Odell. So, Anderson will be shooting two for Rez Christian. Rez is just trying to run out the clock here, and it's a good strategy, and as a coach, you would want you to do the same, uh, protect your lead. And she crosses the free throw line again, and they don't call it, and she makes that one. So, 55-38. Yeah. Anderson shoots second. And that didn't hit anything. So Brush should take a full court. Rez finally drops back in the half court offense or half court defense. Wolver brings it down, gets it to Craig. Craig over to Elliot. Elliot out to Cataloni. Cataloni from the corner doesn't hit anything. Odo with the rebound. Dribbles it back out. Gets over Cataloni from the wing. That one was long. Juju gets the rebound, brings it up with 103 to go, and shows some pretty nice ball handling skills there. So Rez is out trying to to dribble up the time. Foul's gonna be called on Kenzie Craig uh, on Pearl up top. So Brush is gonna foul. You got to do a lot sooner, and um, as, as soon as they get the ball. You got a foul. So Pearl goes to the line, misses the first. Yeah, once they touch the ball, you have to you have to immediately go after them. Can't wait. So Pearl for a second, and that one goes off. Creech with the rebound, bringing up the court. You got to push a lot faster. Look for as soon as you get it, you got to look to shoot. Wolver from about 25. That one goes long off the back of the of, of the rim. Elliot with the rebound, fighting for it. Great from about 21, and banks that in for three. 55-41. Oh, 27 seconds to go here, and and at this point, Brush will just let him dribble it out. Well, they're still trying to trap. 15 seconds, 15 seconds, Juju with the ball, and Rez just passing it around, and this one will be a final, 55, 55-41, Resurrection Christian with the win over Brush. We'll be back with the post-game show. You're listening to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Brush Speed Diggers post-game show is brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Farm and Home Center. They're your headquarters for all your home, farm, and ranch supplies from plumbing to feed with three locations to serve you, Sterling, Brush, and Fort Morgan. Welcome to the post-game show uh, where Brush falls in defeat. Uh, 55-41 to Resurrection Christian, uh, number 18 in the state. And um, we're going to do a little stat rundown here. So, For Resurrection Christian, your leading score was Juju with 19. Then we had Caitlin Anderson with 9. 
and carry with nine and pearl with eight for brush your leading score was Krejci uh, with ten Totalini with nine and Wolver with seven uh, rebounds brush did a lot better rebounding in the second half but uh, Resurrection Christian got got the better um, better of them on that one uh, turnovers uh, brush had 18 eight in the fourth quarter and uh, Resurrection had 16 uh, free throws brush shot 7 and 19 and resurrection 14 for 25. Okay, so that there's definitely uh, with, with Brush's uh, overall field goal percentage was better than Tuesday night. I had to have been. Don't know the definite percentages here, but uh, when they were when they were fighting the open shots, they were there. But it was a battle of two halves, um, and for Brush, uh, he played them even the second half. But the first half just dug themselves a hole, and and that first half getting out rebounded, 30 to 15 is is uh, is too hard to overcome. But also for Brush, the uh, the the loss of Maddie Rule for for this game, and trying to find find their way in the first half, they came back out the second half and did much much better. And a lot of that was the play of uh, Cataloni, who showed incredible hustle um, both sides of the court, uh, on the glass, and for Brush, uh, getting after the rebounds, and, uh, and it wasn't as lopsided. You could definitely tell if you, if you came in the second half, you probably would not believe the score. Um, so Brush can build off of that. Um, you know, they are all in two in conference right now, but um, they have Estes Park coming up on Tuesday and look, look to get back in the win column. And hopefully they find out with Maddie what her injury is and the significance of it and get back to full strength. And I think this team really has a chance to do some things. Um, if they can get the ball to go in the basket and they play with the same type of intensity that they did the second half of this game. I think they could play with anybody. And, uh, you know, that's what term tournaments are for. And as Matt and I talked about on our way up, that in basketball, you know, if you a game or two and and just doesn't go your way, you have the opportunity at the tournament at the end to uh, make up for it and, and go after your or go after a title and compared to football where there's fewer games and you don't have that luxury you have to win them all to be to be uh, at the top there so as we wrap things up here from Resurrection Christian we uh, look forward to uh, our next broadcast bringing you the Brush Boys from Estes Park on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock and get my paperwork here right the sound engineer and producer of Bee Digger Basketball is Rose Condis. For Matthew Gerald, I'm Greg Gatto. With the final score, Resurrection Christian 55, Brush 41. You're listening to Bee Digger Basketball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.